Taurus, y'all seem to have a lot to say to me. You guys peeked through in the Aries reading. So I'm going to go ahead and do a special reading for you guys. Also because it is your birthday season, so it's only right. So happy birthday to all the Taurians out there. I love y'all's energy. I have a lot of placements that hit the second house. So I understand, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's nothing but a vibe with you Tauruses. But let's go ahead and get into it. Um, if you are new to this channel, welcome in, honey. We're glad to have you. Take a seat, get you some popcorn, get you some band-aids, because sometimes I do say some things that uh, do trigger you. So just be prepared here. It's not intentional. I don't mean to cause any harm. I'm just bringing awareness for things that maybe you are overlooking or you are neglecting and or failing to want to acknowledge. And so I have to expose it so that you can do the work and heal and be all the better. You know what I'm saying? So that's all it is. If you like this video though, definitely subscribe and hit the like button as you're watching this video. If things resonate or again, you just, you, you like the vibe and you wanna see more of these videos, then definitely hit that thumbs up. It does help with analytics so other people can also see this video. And also hit the bell notification so you're made aware as soon as I upload. Um, I would really love that and I would appreciate it. Thank you so much. But you guys have the strength card that came out. Leo energy, heavy hitters. Um, you could be dealing with the Leo. If nothing else, you are just more self-aware and or you are just feeling like you are in your creative bag right now. Uranus is also a planet that is in the sign of Taurus, right? your sign and so right now y'all can be bob the goddamn builder you know building furniture finding passion for things that are like uranus related and or just finding a passion and trying to figure out how you can flip that into a lucrative business okay um so that's coming through some of you guys there's a father figure here I don't know if he's in prison. I don't know what this is giving with this King of, King of Swords. We can clarify this. Or this can just be a, like an absent father. Yeah, I'm getting whoever this, this paternal figure is or this more dominant figure that's been in your life as of recent, they're they're in and out it's like a little inconsistent here so if you're in the dating field right now taurus i would lay low and or start recruiting other players for the team you know just do a tryout you know what i'm saying here um because whoever this person is i feel like they may have a little bit too much on their plate to fully commit to you so if that's what you're looking for right now you won't find it in this leo aquarius libra uh fuck gemini person i was trying to think of the other air sign my bad my bad so yeah you'll be dealing with any of those 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 people here mm-hmm yeah, I feel like they're they're too focused on their business. They're too focused on um how do I want to say that? Like literally anybody else comes before you. And here's the thing. If you're dealing with a Leo, their seventh house naturally is Aquarius like that's the opposing sign and so for you Taurus your seventh is Scorpio if I'm not lying I, I don't think I'm mistaken your seventh house is Scorpio so when you love you love like deeply and completely you can become obsessed with your partner where you just want to spend like every waking second with them to learn them you know what I'm saying to like digest them to 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 become one with their interest you know to really dig into like their motives to dig into their psyche you know what i'm saying like you want somebody that or i don't want to say want you need somebody that is okay with evolving and that can do it at a relatively similar pace to how you go about 
your evolutionary processes, right? And just understanding that like your two brains, two brains, two heads, two hands, four hands are better than, you know, than one, than two, right? A second set is always better than just one. So um, that is you guys in love, you know? Very sensual um, into uh, things that are very erotic. Now, it's interesting because some of the like fetishes or turn-ons for Scorpios is like humiliation and or um, like being tied up, you know, when it comes to like watching porn, you can be into gay porn, lesbian porn, you know, because that's like your seventh house, that, that your seventh house aspect. So some of the things that you might be willing to try in the bedroom to make it more exciting, you know? Um, so if you know that you're like into those types of things, it may be starkly different from this person, even though Aquarius has kinks of their own and I don't really know them fully. Um, I always forget what like Aquarius is into, but like Aquariuses tend to like chaos in their relationship. Like they like when people have an issue with them for some reason, it, I don't know, it's just a turn on for Aquariuses. Like they like their partners to be like a little crazy. Um, and you guys can get there, but it, much like a bull, it takes a lot to like aggravate and antagonize you. But you know, once you get going, then it's kind of like, it's hard to, you know, turn the switch off but you're just not going to unprovoked be a crazy person that's just not your nature like you're in the cut peaceful life you know what i'm saying don't ruffle too many feathers you're not into the drama or anything like that whereas aquarius is but if you're dealing with this leo that has an aquarius seventh house it's like they will dedicate most of their time to like hanging out with their friends and or helping their friends and so the quality time dwindles and dwindles and dwindles when it comes to you two so you feel like you don't really have a handle on this person like you don't really know who this person is though you are attracted to them you know though you guys are in communication with each other again it's it's, it's, it's inconsistent with them and so that might be driving you crazy so hopefully i put you on game to learning more about synastry when it comes to two people's charts and just how well you can mesh and it will also give you more insight into um the different conflicts that you might have like one of you guys might be a little bit more um left-brained than right-brained you know a little bit more analytical a little bit more uh reserved you know or just hesitant when it comes to spontaneity versus the other so that can be the thing but yeah if you're dating this person mm, i don't really see it lasting long i feel like this is going to be more of like a fling type of thing maybe that's all that you need maybe you just need to scratch the itch right now just need a little rendezvous and you're good to go um but you know I just want to say, you know, now is not the time to be digmatized or to get somebody hung up on you if you know that right now you just, you don't have the time. You don't have the time. Maybe you don't have the money. Maybe you're going through a transition right now, a rebirth of some sort, or you have uh, plans of relocating. And so you don't want to get tied down. So either make it clear or just understand that inconsistency is an answer. Um, confusion is an answer. If you always feel like you're like in limbo, one minute you know, one minute you don't, it's a telltale sign that this person is just trying to manipulate you for their advantage, you know, like, but if you're allowing it, then that's something that you have to talk over with yourself. You also have the Queen of Swords, the Sun, the Knight of Swords. Look at this in the Page of Wands. I feel like it's no different than what just came out. You have the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck, but like, damn. Hold on, y'all. You see this? It's literally a reiteration of what I just pulled. Just higher cards. So yeah, definitely getting that. Um, now, we just had this new, no, not new moon, full moon in Scorpio. And so that can have brought a lot of repressed thoughts back to the surface, can have triggered you. And maybe put you in um, like a, a, a bad mood, like 
put you under a spell of not really having energy or not really feeling motivated or wanting to be bothered by people. Now that can be causing conflict in your relationship um, and vice versa. This can also be what has happened to the person. And so they've tried to create some distance to kind of work through these problems. And especially if this person is a little bit more prideful, they don't like to have other people see them like sweat or cry or be in distress because, you know, they are known for keeping it all together, you know, um, being like a well-composed person. And so that can be an insecurity of theirs, uh, vulnerability. And so they can be wanting to work on that. And or you can be curating a safe space for them to, uh, what is that called? Break their, break down their walls, break their barriers. To have them loosen up, okay? <laughs> so yeah, that's what we have. Um, in terms of career, like I was saying, you guys might be in your creative bag. Um, the sun, whenever it's paired with like air energy, like queen of swords, knight of swords, king of swords, this is somebody that has like foresight. So you can be very good at predicting um, certain events that are going to happen in the future so if there's a way for you to monetize on that definitely get a handle on it some of you guys are really um good with like probability and that kind of helps you so like if you work in like aeronautics i don't know why i'm getting that nasa those types of jobs where you have to be like really 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 precise with numbers um but it predicts certain projections and this can also be uh like for like marketing or uh, any of those other fields where that would kind of be required and it helps to know exactly like what plans and what uh, exact like advertisements you're going to push forward. Um, you can be really good at that and so figure out a way to monetize on that and or go back to school for that or get some sort of certification for that. Um, or start up a page where you're teaching other people like a Facebook page doing something on some sort of like platform like a an online platform, online website, online blog, blog, or whatever, where you can teach people some of these natural talents that you have. And that's going to generate some success because I feel like this is a niche. Whatever it is that you're you're doing right now, it's there's a there's it's like untapped potential, right? It, it, like it's a niche. I don't know what's happening with the lighting, y'all. I apologize if it's like too dark. Oh, okay. Here we go. But um, yeah, you can be finding your niche. Okay. And so it's like uh, all systems go once you have your plan in place. You guys are not ones to move off of impulse. You like to wait until you feel like you have all of your ducks in a row. Um, and so that's really beneficial. Other people can really take from you in that way as far as uh, learning how to wait and uh, learning what to do in that idle time so that they don't find themselves bored and or so that they don't lose interest in that thing. Um, you guys are really good at that. But yeah, I'm definitely seeing that a lot of you guys are finding some success and or you are you are catching people's attention. For some reason, I'm seeing like a chart and it's like going up. If you're in music, you're charting in music or you will. If you have like a podcast, you're gonna be like top 10, top 100, you know, billboard, that type of thing. Some of you guys, that's what I'm getting. Like you guys have star potential here. There's like something here. And or if you have children, they are just very, um, I don't want to say rambunctious because I don't think that that is a positive adjective, but um, this kid, if you have a kid, they just have a lot of energy and I don't, I don't want to say like a, a savant type of person because I don't know I don't know how I'm trying to say it but this is a little kid that you see in in this depiction here hopefully if it's if it's clear enough right and so child stars you can see very early what it is that they're good at they can just take up they can take like to music really well be able to hold notes you know be able to sing in octaves that aren't 
normal. Like this is like atypical behavior, but it's good. It's, it's good because it's like, oh my God, like this is, this is something that they really need to do. Like this is what I need to put my kid in, like gymnastics. I'm seeing like they can be like three years old, but like have like insane rhythm, know how to dance um, and or be like really athletic. And so it's like a future track star or something. Like if you have a kid and you can see that they have star potential, start investing now because on on me, this it's like they're going to grow to be like a um, uh, Mark Zuckerberg of sorts. Like um what's her name uh felix is it allison felix that's like a really good track star that's coming to mind like the beyonce of beyonce's and or again this can be you your energy like you are honoring your inner child and that very thing that you've always wanted to do that you've always loved to do and that maybe you were a natural at you know again natural talent here and so you're not really going to follow the status quo and continue working in corporate, you know, if it's not something that's truly been fulfilling for you because you've been feeling that pull, that gravita that gravitational pull to change your career path and or follow down this particular path and do this particular thing. Definitely seeing that here with work. Um, relationships, I think I already touched on that, right? So money money is like two of coins it's 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 learning the tricks of the trade learning how money works like currency itself and where you can put your money also how you can get money at this time i'm definitely feeling like you guys are working on that but i feel like it's going to come through this business this idea something that you have you you already have in the works like it's, it's already started the ball's rolling here it's just a matter of time so just stay consistent I, I feel like that's like a redundant statement to make to you guys because you guys you usually are really good at staying focused once you have your mind set on something or your heart set on something um but really the consistency is key and not being afraid to market yourself this came through in aries reading maybe you have a placement maybe your um like one of your placements is in detriment like you have an aries placement which is really good for being confident outspoken extroverted you know and uh like just out there maybe that placement is affected within you it's it's idle you know it, maybe it's been lying dormant right now um and so you need to watch that video because you can't be afraid here when it comes to um following your passion following your heart so for some of you, you just need to work on that. Just not being afraid to uh, like clap for yourself, but to promote yourself. So definitely work on that. I feel like that's the only thing. If you are like underground or you feel like you are being slept on, um, one of the reasons why is because you're not promoting yourself appropriately. Um, maybe you have like two different lives. Like you have a, a like on, if you have a lot of platforms, it's not the image that you're putting up there it's not consistent like you're one thing on one and you're a different thing on another so um if you have this business and you know that it's brilliant it's a genius idea or whatever you're involved in is genius then you need to start making that your brand making that your name okay and that's going to help other people take notice of you and want to uh, maybe maybe even invest in you with this two of coins and the six of wands here all right so that's what's coming through taurus i hope this was everything that you needed to hear right now definitely let me know in the comment section below how this resonated and or when it does because energy is fluid it doesn't always happen immediately um but like this video again subscribe if you haven't before you leave this video hit that subscribe button turn that bell notification on share it with other taurians that you know it would greatly help me and this channel out for other people to also take notice of me um because i am a smaller platform Oh, and I wanted to say that don't let uh, your numbers on these platforms discourage you. You can have a thousand people and find brands and other uh, businesses that will sponsor you and you can get paid that way. Like the, the number doesn't matter. It's just 
how good your work is. So focus on the quality, right? Focus on the quality of your work and the quality of the people that you have around you and everything else will fall into place with that. Um, but yeah, I'm also open for reading. So if you wanna book with me, the information would be in the description box on how you can get a hold of me. But if you don't and I don't hear from you, then please just take care of yourself and soul until you see me again, okay? Ciao.